Hello, welcome back to another Canva hacks video. This is the third video I do on these, so make sure you check the description for the links to the others. For this first Canva hack, I'm going to be adding some text here to my design. So I have these two text templates as examples here to show you what we're going to be using the new copy style icon for and that's this icon that looks like a paint roller. This essentially is like a copy paste for styles. Let me show you what I mean. Say I had this text here but then as I kept scrolling I saw this text template here and I want to change it to look like this. Normally before what we had to do was click on it, check the font up here, then click on this one and go ahead and change the font. But now what we can do is hold your mouse right beside the text that you actually want. Hover over it until it's completely covered by this blue highlight. Now what we're going to do is is click on this paint roller. Now that it's shaded in black on the inside, it means that this style is copied and whatever you put this roller on, it's gonna change it to be exactly the same. We're gonna do the same thing we're going to hover right beside it to make sure that it copies the style to both of these texts and then let go and there we go it changed both fonts for us so this is just a faster easier way to copy styles and you can also do it for something like this so let's see what happens when we copy the style of this top picture to the bottom one down here there we go it changed the border color it changed the size and the font of my name so now I'll all we'd have to do is do a little bit of adjusting to make everything fit. Lastly, I want to show you how this copy style button would work on whole design. So I have these templates that I got from Canva's library. I have this one and I have this one. I'm going to zoom out a bit so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hover right beside the design, go around and highlight all of this design. And then we're going to click this copy style and go copy the style to this bottom design. Hover right beside it, highlight everything and see what it does. So what it did was basically just change the filter of this picture which is great because before you had to click on the picture, click on filter, go get the filter code and paste it to get the same filter as other pictures. It also changed the font and the color of the font and it made it look similar. So that's a simple way for you to copy the styles of whole designs as well which you may have to do little adjustments here and there but it still makes the process faster when you're creating long form content such as an ebook or a lead magnet where you want the style to stay similar to stay on brand kind of thing play around with this and see what you can do with it to make your workflow faster tip number two is how to quickly align your text and elements for some of my videos i like to add some boxes like this and then I just change the color and I just click duplicate then I just go in and change the color of each text box so it ends up looking something like this and then on the top I add text and kind of show what will be shown in that particular video that I use this graphic for now the problem with this sometimes is that it's hard to kind of gauge if it's evenly based vertically let me show you the solution for that we're gonna hover right beside the design and click and hold the mouse to highlight these three boxes then we're going to go to position first we're going to space evenly down here and we're going to go vertically so that now it's evenly spaced for vertically normally i would just eyeball these boxes and not even worry about the vertical spacing but for some certain documents it may be important to have them evenly spaced lastly i just want to show you this example so i have these four letter boxes and some are up some are down and i messed them up on purpose just to show you further how this position option would work we're going to click on the outside of this design and again highlight all of the elements then we're going to position now here at the top we have our align element options and then below we have our space evenly options let's start here we're going to move all of these letters to the top then we're going to move them to the middle of the page lastly what we're going to do is space them evenly vertically and then space them evenly 
horizontally. That's how you quickly get your elements to be evenly spaced all the way around. Now they're evenly in the middle of the page, they have even space in between, and they're also evenly aligned across. This is a big time saver for when you're doing documents where you want things to be as close to perfect as possible, such as ebooks and lead magnets as well. Now we're on Canva hack number three, and for this one, it's a simple one, but it will save you a lot of time and that is how to quickly turn all of these into capital letters and I actually have two ways for you so if you have this and all of a sudden you think like oh I want all these capital instead of deleting the whole thing and rewriting it or retyping it we're going to use this uppercase option here and that will quickly turn all our letters into capitals and it's a faster way I'm going to click undo up here because I want to show you the second way and I'm also going to resize it to 100 so that you can see how this is going to work a little bit better. So what we're going to do is go here to the font options and up at the top on the search box we're going to search for capital and then down here we have our results and these are all the different capital fonts that they have. This may or may not be the fastest way to come here and search for a capital font depending on how many letters you have here but it's also an option and also a way to find a font that is meant to be used in all caps. And for the next tip is how to zoom in and out of your designs quickly. As you know, when you're here on your Canva homepage and you select a design that you want to edit, you click on it. When it opens it, it automatically opens it normally around 53% and this is what it looks like. But sometimes to do some fine tuning and you want to see the details, you want to zoom in. And normally what you'd have to do is click here and zoom in to a certain percent that's here. But there is an even faster way to do it. You can always click this arrow button here to hide this control panel so that you can see your design even more. We're going to click control and plus and you can always click control and minus to zoom out and that is a little bit faster and it gives you just a tiny bit more control so that you're able to zoom in exactly how you want to see it and it's super useful for when you're doing things like I show here on this thumbnail. This white area on top of the phone is a small triangle and I wanted to have it as close to possible to cover the phone so that's when you would use the zoom in feature when you want to do some fine tuning and you want to see all the details. The next Canva hack is going to involve this lock feature which is fairly new and out of all the new things that Canva has came out with this is one of my most favorite most useful things that I like using. Let me show you the usefulness of it. Say that I have a graphic here that has a lot going on. This is mostly useful useful for when your graphics have a lot of things going on. If I want to move these things or edit this text and this arrow and this Canva text, then of course we'd go on top. We'd highlight everything and then we can go ahead and shrink it. The problem with that sometimes is that when you have a lot of elements going on, it will grab hold of some other elements when you're doing the highlighting and I didn't want this phone to be small, only this text and this arrow. So I'm going to click on do and show you the solution to that. What we're going to do is click on everything that we want to stay in place. So for example, this phone, this lady inside the phone, this other phone, this photo and now I can freely highlight and edit the things around it without them getting in the way. So now we can make this smaller or bigger and I don't have to worry about the phone coming along as I'm making the edits and this is so so useful as you're designing because that was one of my biggest pet peeves that when you're trying to make an edit to one thing the other thing gets messed up and things like that. And don't worry because you can always click on what you locked and unlock it. So if you choose to edit it later Later, then you can always unlock it. And for the last Canva tip is going to be how to use this copy page to make your best design possible. Let me show you what I'm right here. I'm going to folders. I'm going to all your designs. And here you can see the many things I do here on Canva. Lots of thumbnails. And if I click on one of these thumbnails, most of the time I have different variations of the thumbnail. This Poshmark shipping, for example, I'm constantly changing things around and even after I publish a video if I feel like I need to change the thumbnail because it's not 
performing as well I come here and mess with it a bit and the usefulness of using this copy page is that you can make edits without losing your previous works so if I like the way this thumbnail looks here but I also want to try to add another background and I just click the background change the color of it and now I have them side by sides I can compare whether I like it or not most of my designs as you saw have lots of pages because I start off with an idea in mind and slowly it morphs into the final result so when I made this design it didn't start off this way it started off with me adding one thing another thing clicking copy page going to the bottom making some changes then going back to the top page grabbing some elements that I like from this top page when you're designing try to never delete what you have on your page if you don't like it or if you want to try something different just choose this copy page instead and then you can go on and see if you'd like the change you want to make down in the comments below let me know which of the canva tips slash hacks that I mentioned today was your favorite if you have any to share with us make sure to leave those in the comments Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it because I have many more Canva tutorials coming your way. And in the meantime, if you want to watch more Canva tutorials, click the playlist on your screen right now or click the video right next to it to watch my previous video. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching.